This is a tutorial on how to create a scatter plot in Google Sheets in regards to behavioral data. Some things you might use a scatter plot for would be um, if you have multiple episodes that are happening per day. So for example, if I'm taking duration per um, tantrum every day, if I were taking um, time out of classroom, maybe they're missing instructional time because they are in timeout or a break area outside of the classroom. And so I want to capture that. So the first column in column A, I'm going to type in date and then go down. I'm just going to put October first in here. And then I'm going to put up here duration in break. I'm just going to type in some data. So maybe on this day, the first episode was 30 minutes. Later that day after lunch, they had to go in for 17. At the end of the day, right before buses, they were in for five. Um, to add the next day of data, I can click on this box and I'm gonna see a little blue square right here is gonna pop up. If I click on this, a little plus shows up and I can drag down. Um, it's gonna auto-populate the next day that would come after the first. So let's just say on this day, um, 45 minutes. And then they were in there for 13. Then on the third, they had an amazing day. They didn't go in at all. I'm going to put a zero in there just to remind myself and to represent in the graph that um, there were no episodes that day. Go down to the fourth, seven. And then, oops, hold on, wrong date. So if you put the wrong date in, I can click on that. Go up to the calendar. I'm going to hit the fourth. This was 22. So if I want to insert a graph, I'm going to click on A, column A, it's going to highlight the whole thing. I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard, move over to column B and click that. And then it's insert chart. Google Sheets is always going to guess um, what type of chart that it thinks you need based on the data you've entered. So it has guessed they need an area chart and you can see um, why this wouldn't work as a line chart. So if I were to convert this to a line chart, do you see the line goes right here, then up. So see how it's going straight like this? It's because there's multiple data points along here. Um, and then it goes down and then see how it's going straight up along the, the y axis right here again that's because there's multiple data points and that's why i want this represented as a scatter plot so if i scroll down i see scatter plot is a choice i can click on that i can go to customize click on chart and access titles chart title i can change the title i can say duration and break per episode so this is in minutes. And then if I want to change any of the axes, there's an option to change the horizontal or the vertical. So I can say duration and break. I'm going to change this so that I know that it's in minutes. I can go down to series. I can add a trend line if I want. Usually change the color just visually. I like for it to stand out, different color from the data points. Google Sheets tends to default to blue as your data point color. Change it to red. Um, if the trend line is not meaningful, I can take that off. If I wanted to, I could add in data labels. It puts numbers over it. Um, I typically don't do that. It can be visually overwhelming. All right, I can out of that. If I click on this, I can move it. If I wanted to know, the average time that this child, the student is spending a break. I can type in average down here, tap over, and then my formula is going to be equals average. And you can see right here, it has already guessed the cell range that it needs. So it's saying B2 colon to B9. And it is an average of 17.375 minutes. If I don't want this many um, places after the decimal point, I can go up here, click on this to decrease. It's down to two, down to one. OK, 
Okay, I could also have put the average over here. It doesn't matter. Um, if I want, I can move this to its own sheet to move to own sheet and a new tab will be created down here. Now this is on its own sheet. Um, any data that I am that I enter on the original tab, the raw data tab to the far left, it should auto populate. It will update this chart. Um, I can copy the chart, um, send this in an email to colleagues or to parents or any outside therapists that are servicing my student. Um, and then, again, if I go under share, I can get a link if I need to share that or send it to anyone who needs to view this data. And that is how you graph a scatter plot.